Now let's try it. Now we got audio. Okay, there we go. Yes. We well, see. We <laughs> All right. Audio, Sorry, guys. guys uh, I forgot to unplug my gaming headset because that's what I <laughs> get for. <laughs> <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> so every all the audio is going to the game headset. So let me start over again. Welcome everybody uh, to again? Mac Act number sixteen. Yes, again. Um, we're uh, yeah. I didn't break it. I just there it goes. Yeah, it's working. Yep. But anyways, uh, last week we got rudely interrupted by YouTube for some reason. Uh, I we couldn't connect or anything like that. Today it seems to be pretty stable. Yeah, last uh, week half of YouTube servers went down. Yeah, I think it was the. Post. I think it was the same problem that Facebook was having and Instagram. I think uh, I hate to say, it, but I think they were getting hacked. You probably, know, probably mm-hmm. getting DDoS service. You know, uh, uh, attacks. Anyways, we got some topics from last week. We're going to continue going over uh, that we got rudely interrupted on. But first, we're going to go ahead around the horn here and find out what all the Mac yackers are up to. So we're going to start with Steve. Okay. So, um, I picked up a heck of a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, basically uh, a year or so ago, I got an Apple three from someone uh, who was clearing out their business and I kept in touch with them. And last week I got an email saying, Hey, spring cleaning, got a bunch more wires and cables, no computers, but a bunch of fun stuff. Are you interested? I said, yeah, okay, because I thought maybe it will be a box or two of discs. Uh, no, <laughs> it was like eight or nine boxes, and I did a, a whole like two-hour stream of it. So if you want to check out Mac 84, yeah, uh, there's, there's a bunch of stuff there. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, there, there was a lot of um, audio uh, – audio uh, – yeah, audio-visual stuff and mostly booklets and manuals and uh, a ton of floppy disks and cables – and a lot of software. So I'm going to be busy archiving some of that. And uh, I'll probably be making a blog post on my Patreon when I you know, sort through some of that stuff. But it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot you're of going to do, uh, You're going to do a video on your channel about each individual cable and book, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> You'll be my guest. <laughs> That'll take him like three years to go through all that stuff if he I'm does one say. daily. Yeah, huh? that's that's yep. pretty. That's that's. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna drive myself crazy doing that. But <laughs> but that was really crazy. fun to, to go through because a lot of the stuff was sealed and in great condition. So uh, yeah, check out that live stream if you want. But that's what I've been up to, and I'll probably be busy doing it next week and the week after. All right, Greg Rutke, what you've been up to? Well, uh, last week I uh, worked on uh, finally setting up my G5 quad. I got a video of that. If you guys want to check it out. We'll put that in the chat, too. Um, got it going up really nice. Got it going running really nice. But um, I haven't actually got to do a whole lot more with it because I've been in Florida since Tuesday. Um, I had a, a close family member have a heart attack, and um, I'm down here with him. Um, I'm not going to go into any personal details about it right now. I will eventually, but um, so I'm down in a hotel room right now, so I haven't had a whole lot else than between the hospital and hotel room. So. That's why we have the echo and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this hotel room's really bad for that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you got like an echo thing going on there. But so. your internet connection is actually better in a hotel than it is at your house. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I flip you off right now, but we're on Mac Yak. <laughs> Uh, all right, Rocky, your turn. Well, let's see. Thanks to uh, Jay there. I actually received a dual CPU upgrade for my Mac Pro. And as a result, I've been doing uh, live streaming on Twitch and uh, YouTube. I do plan to actually expand, make some videos and stuff. Uh, there's going to be a video that's going to be released. Hoping to do it in the next week <laughs> for uh, to show the whole upgrade uh, that I went through with it. So... That's kind of what I've been up to and, you know, prepping uh, some game streams, stuff like that. So. Okay. And Jay? Me. Um, <laughs> well, you're the only Jay we got here, so I yeah. hope it's you. <laughs> no, I was, I was watching the chat. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, I've been doing a bunch of XRF G5 stuff. Uh, I did two videos about it in the last few days. <sighs> I'm currently... On the other desk, uh, recapping the third power supply. Uh, four more to go after that. And uh, spent a lot of time getting my uh, website up and 
running after a uh, Borg server upgrade, so that took a few days. Apart from that, business as usual. No, that's good. And myself, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, I did post it in Loa and Mac, uh, where uh, I just acquired a 2009 iMac, uh, bought it for 150 bucks. It had a i7-860 processor in it. Uh, I went and bought a 880 processor, i7-880, to upgrade it. That upgrade was pretty simple and easy. But right before that, uh, I went and cleaned out my 2017 iMac, which was more of a pain than the two, 20, two, uh, 2009 because guess what? It's glued shut. So <laughs> right now it has black electrical tape all around the display because – I don't want to put that glue stuff back on it yet because if I ever have to clean it out again, it makes it much easier to do. Um, Your wife but, didn't like that at all? No, she didn't like it. She <laughs> she thought the resale value was going to go down, but I told her, I says, no, all I got to do is go buy the little strips that I fix it sells for, I think it's 20 bucks or whatever it is, and guess what? Boom. It's like it's never been opened before. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty much. But I had to repaste it only because my CPU, when I played iRacing it was and streaming at the same time, I was getting about 90 to 95 degrees Celsius on the GPU, which was causing the video to stutter. Once I repasted it and the, it and the CPU, uh, I actually got about 30 degrees cooler on the GPU. It's running about 60, between 60 and 65 now uh, when I'm streaming 1080p. So it's working a whole lot better. In fact, it's probably helping out Mac yet because I'm using that same computer to stream. I was about to say you can play on YouTube. Your your stuff was just <laughs> no, <laughs> no. That was you can ask Rutke. Okay, there was a big YouTube outage last week, so yeah. that that was not me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, everything's working fine now. Everything's back together. Just my computer has tape all over it. Uh, Jay's computers have the same thing. I think you have your iMacs like that too, right? Yep. <laughs> I had mine like that when I had that 2013. <laughs> well, at least the 2009 is easy because uh, that one, just take a suction cup and pull the screen off. Now, mm-hmm. that 2009, it, pull it, pull it. I am going to be upgrading the GPU in it one of these days, too. So uh, Greg's going to help me out with that uh, project there. Uh, don't go to that other guy that destroyed his. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I watched his video finally, and I was like, yeah, that's why he destroyed it, because he didn't do it right. (laughs) Yeah, he definitely didn't do it right, but I did. Yes, you did. That's why I pointed (laughs) you, not him. All right, guys. Uh, Last week, we got cut off a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up where we kind of got cut off. We were talking about boot camp uh, last week. some of the things is, do you use it and why, do's and don'ts, what to look out for, good resources, et cetera, et cetera. Um, myself, I use boot camp a lot because I like to do iRacing. Yeah, look at Jay doesn't like Windows at all. But for some things, you just have to use boot camp for because, for instance, iRacing does not have a Mac version. They used to do it until DX11 came out and Mac didn't support that. So guess what? They had no choice but to stick with Wintel and they had that's no why choice. They had they no choice. They could have pay the developers to do the damn work and update the game. They are the developer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I have a lot of experience with boot camp. Um, I, I run Windows 10 on all of my Intel Macs, <laughs> just in case I need to run it. In fact, I do all my schoolwork on my late 2008 MacBook because my MacBook Pro is still being worked on by Colin. But um, I run Windows 10 on all of them, and about 90 to 100 percent of the drivers for even the unsupported systems will work totally fine. Um, mm-hmm. I, I did experience some backlight keyboard issues and um, screen brightness issues um, with the uh, early and late 2008 MacBook um, systems. But um, other than that, everything works. Um, I've got multiple tutorials on how to set up um, 
boot camp six and all that stuff on an unsupported Mac and um, get Windows 10 working perfectly. So if you want to check that out, you can check out my channel. But um, it, it's Windows 10 is very useful because it doesn't matter what Windows, um, what um, Intel Mac you're running, it will run Windows 10, even if it's a 32-bit CPU, uh, like a Core Duo system, you can still run Windows 10 with a 32-bit, and it works. So, you know, I found that Macs, Mac hardware actually runs Windows better than PC hardware. It does. To be they honest do. with you. They definitely do. <laughs> a lot of people don't believe me when I tell them that, and I'm like, uh, you know, you can have the same kind of system there, and I'll probably get better scores in a, a PC build. Well, I, I remember, yeah, I remember seeing a lot of Macs running Windows in 2007, 2008 at Microsoft booths, uh, you know, at uh, Digital Life Expo and things like that, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's, there must be a reason why they were. So, oh, yeah. 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 Well, I think, like, like Gertie was talking about, uh, the, running Windows for a school because a lot of stuff that colleges do is Windows, you know. And so uh, some of the courses he's taken has probably got Windows-only software. And yeah, all of it's Windows-only. Yeah, so it's kind of difficult when you're taking classes like that. You need to have that dual support. Now, I know some people use Parallels, which, to be honest with you, I don't recommend. I tried it. I used to use it. Um, it's a paid-for software. The problem with it is, is that they upgrade it every time a new OS comes out. So, for instance, every time a new Mac OS comes out, they upgrade <coughs> theirs to match. So I think they're probably at Parallel 14 now. Um, yeah, the same goes for VMware. Yeah. So, But the, the problem with it is, is that, yes, it's basically running an emulator, so you're actually losing some performance. Well, it's not. It's virtualization, so not, yeah, it's, it's virtualization. not emulating yeah. the, the process. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. But to be honest with you, boot camp runs much better than running it uh, in a virtualized uh, system like that. Oh, yeah. I would never recommend um, Parallels or VMware or uh, there's one. VirtualBox is the free one. VirtualBox is yeah. the free one. Now, now if you want to do some stuff like that, VirtualBox is the way to go. But it's not integrated into the system like Parallels is. Parallels, you can actually run Windows software in Mac OS. You know, it's yeah, like, like as your, a window, not even yeah. showing the desktop and everything. Exactly, yeah. And you could trade stuff back and forth between the windows and stuff. VirtualBox, you can drag stuff from one window, but the whole system runs in a window. So it's not like Parallels. Yeah, I've, have, I've honestly tried everything. I've tried Parallels. I've tried VMware Fusion. A lot of the integration options I usually end up turning off because they're annoying or they don't work right. Even yep. the, the things that claim to spit out, you know, your let's say your web browser window, you know, into a separate thing and it hides the desktop. Yeah, it kind of works until like you get a pop up or something <laughs> that just doesn't work. Yeah. Um, but VirtualBox is my go to. It's compatible with a lot of systems. I use it if I had to run, you know, some old software or something. And especially with these these Macs these days with you know dual uh, core processors, quad core processors. You know, 16 gigs of memory in there. You could run an older system like, like Windows XP or Windows 7 or whatever you're trying to, you know, run. You know, pretty efficiently without stressing out the Mac because there's plenty of horsepower to go around. Now, of course, if you're doing anything like gaming or things that's times intensive, like graphics intensive things like that, you're going to want to use Boot Camp. You know, there's yeah. no contest there. Yeah. Well, and that's that's a fact there because you're using you're basically going directly to the hardware, whereas. With virtualization, you got to go through the virtual machine first, and then to use yeah, it in the hardware. Yeah, and plus you're so. running two operating systems at once: OS X and then your guest, you know, uh, uh -huh, virtualization. Exactly. So all that said, of course, you're much better off just not running Windows at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wanted to bring up some history here because I, I I thought of this uh, from our last week when our stream cut out, and I'm going to paste the link from the Internet Archive in the the chat here. But there was a contest. I don't know if any of you remember what I'm referring to. There was a contest because the, the uh, Apple, uh, the first Intel Macs came out in January of 2016, uh, 2006, rather. And I know that because I, I got one of the first Intel Macs. I was saving up for it. 
And there was a contest that was announced like a month or so after by these group of people who thought, all right, the Mac is Intel, we're going to run Windows XP on it. And as you could see by the link to the archive, there was like a 10 grand bounty for this, uh, you know, virtual, the, uh, like a, sort of like a boot camp type thing. Basically, they wanted to boot Windows um, mm-hmm. on a Mac. I and this. Yeah, so mm-hmm. this was going on for a while, and then um, not too long after, Apple introduced a beta of Boot Camp in April of 2006. Yeah. So I remember there was a proof of concept video of a guy booting into the Windows XP install CD um, like a few days or a week before Apple introduced this. So the timing was was very interesting, and I remember people saying that the Windows XP proof of concept video was a hoax and all this stuff. And then Apple came out with their official solution and, <laughs> and of course, made everyone you know, like, oh, okay, I guess that's real. <laughs> but, yeah, Boot Camp launched as a beta for Leopard in April, on April 5th, 2006. And I remember using it on my Intel iMac, and I was very excited because I had a gaming PC that was older. It was a Pentium 4, and I couldn't really do much anymore. And it was just really exciting because I was able to run a lot of games and stuff. And, you know, boot to Windows and boot to the Mac. <laughs> and in the early days, the drivers were a bit iffy, and there were some weird installation issues. If you, uh, you know, Grudy probably remembers the whole clock issue where you would reboot and the clock would get screwed up, think it's in a different time zone because... They still do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. so they didn't really <laughs> fix that, but that's been Especially going on since the 2006. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, Did I, you I have think... to pay for the beta, or was it free? No, it was, it was oh, free. Oh, yeah. bastards. We had to pay for FaceTime when it first came out, remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It was like a dollar or two dollars. I mean, had to pay for okay. iChat we, AV for Jaguar was $29. Yeah, you want to you wanna punish Mac users for wanting to run Windows, charge them. I'm all for that. But FaceTime? I'm a Mac user. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they never got that. I agree. Yeah, so that, that's just a little history about this. I, I've been using it since the beginning. I don't use it as often because now I have a dedicated PC for games and such. Uh, especially after my 2011 iMac GPU died after me playing a lot of games. So I want to go easy on that machine now. <laughs> yeah. Now, one of the things about boot camp, though, that a lot of people need to understand is that Apple does not keep up with the drivers. We just talked about drivers. Nope. Uh, especially graphics drivers, okay? Those are the worst ones to try to get Apple to what a keep up to date. Exactly. You can get by with most most PC counterpart hardware, unless it's extremely proprietary hardware. For yeah. You. Well, I was getting ready to talk yeah. about this, yeah. and I'm going to put the link up in the in the chat here. If you go to bootcampdrivers.com, okay, that site right there has basically they take the actual AMD drivers that come out when they when they when they have updates. And they modify them, or they hack them, just like Colin does with you know Mojave, you know with his uh, uh, patcher. Yep. It's the same thing that they do. However, they actually have a uh, uh, what do you call it the the certificate for it and everything. So it it will actually install. Now there's a convoluted process to get it to install because you have to actually uninstall the old drivers first, then you have to reinstall it. Using a special way, and it's 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 like a two or three page document that they have. I've done it so many times, I don't even really need the document anymore. I can do it by heart now. So you can but tell you, that this website was designed by a PC user. It's hideous. <laughs> <laughs> Though you know what, that's only an issue for the AMD cards because NVIDIA. Not but the a problem. problem is, NVIDIA's a lot of drivers newer, always work. Uh, but the problem is, is a lot of the newer Macs don't have NVIDIA cards in them. Yep. And that's why, that's why, I've why got a Mac Pro. <laughs> see, but that's what I'm saying, though, is like a lot of the iMacs. Like, my, for instance, my 2017 iMac has AMD graphics in it. It mm-hmm. has a uh, Radeon uh, uh, 570 or 550, I can't remember, 550 Pro or 570. Yeah, it's I can't a remember. Polaris or something like that. Uh, but, anyways, it's a really good graphics card. But <laughs> when games start updating their features to use the, the new updated drivers, you have to keep updated with the stuff in order for it to work properly. Yep, and true. using boot camp drivers gets, keeps you up to date. Uh, now, other stuff like you know mouse, uh, keyboard, all that, Bluetooth, you can go with the Apple drivers. Those work really good. It's just the graphic drivers are the ones you really need to go on a third party because Apple 
refuses to update them. Yep. Now, there is a weird glitch with these keyboards. If you don't use the USB one and you use these Bluetooth keyboards, the problem that I've ran into multiple times has happened when I had my 2013. It's happened on the Mac Pro, and it's happened on um, MacBook Pros that I've had that I've ran Windows on. And the problem that it has is if you install all the Apple Bluetooth software and garbage, it'll jack it up. Whether you, either your Bluetooth keyboard doesn't work in Windows or it doesn't work in Mac, you can't get it to work in both without going through a nightmare convoluted process that'll break in about a week. That's why I use a wired <laughs> keyboard and I use a Logitech mouse that has a yep. little uh, USB <laughs> dongle on it. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have to use any Apple US or Same Bluetooth here. stuff on here. <laughs> but I mean, I actually have a wired. I have the old, the big wired keyboard uh, for it. You know, so mm -hmm. uh, the only problem with it is uh, an Apple keyboard when you're using a boot camp is a lot of the keys don't map properly. For instance, print screen. Okay. There is, there no is no print screen. There is no print screen on the Apple keyboard, so therefore you can't use it. I can't use the number pad in Boot Camp because the number pad doesn't it doesn't show up in Boot Camp. It doesn't but, have a numlock oh, yeah, function. It sounds totally worth it. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually have a separate keyboard for when I need to do a screenshot or something like that because Windows doesn't have a real screenshot function like Macs do. I mean, Mac, I love the mm -hmm. you know Command Shift Four. Uh, or Command Shift Five, or whatever you know. Uh, yeah, and until you get the drivers installed, the lack of right click can get really annoying too. And I don't remember the shortcut keys for it. Oh, so that's the reason why I oh, still yeah. use one of these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it has Any two mouse over here. Yeah. So I mean, that's just some some <laughs> advice that I have for people that actually want to use Boot Camp if they have to. Like Jay says, he doesn't like using Boot Camp and. I don't think I don't see Jay ever even touching a Windows machine. He'll probably like get yeah. hives <laughs> if he gets near one. You got you guys have it easy. I, I installed the boot camp beta on a black MacBook Core Duo, you know, two gigahertz <laughs> with you know nothing but the Windows XP SP2 CD ROM. Easy. And that was like the quickest MacBook of the time. Yeah, and, <laughs> really nice. And too. I remember to right click. Yeah, I had to download some cockamamie open source thing. <laughs> <laughs> that I held, I held like function and like the Taco tilde baby. key just to like get it to switch between right click and left click because the bootcamp drivers just did not support trackpads at that time. It was just yeah. such a mess. So yeah. Yeah, you guys got it easy. That was the reason why it was beta. <laughs> yeah, it was. But I was bleeding edge. <laughs> oh, I, and, and, Wendy, and, and Wendy comes in here. Boot camp is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you've been, you've been like really. Rubbing off on her, huh, Jay? No, dude. That's why I married her. She was like this when I met her. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Uh, any more questions on boot camp before we move on to our next topic? I'll, I'll just say I think it helped Mac sales, especially from businesses, knowing that a machine could run both operating systems. I, yeah, I, for I one, have so experienced too. that firsthand at my old job. Yeah, it definitely yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing way to give your brand new Mac a virus. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> only, only, and you're only on my boot camp part. partition. See, it and doesn't wipe the partition. Because, see, that's the thing. When you're in boot camp, I, don't, I can't see my Mac partition at all. There is software it doesn't, for that. There is yeah, software, but I don't want to use it. <laughs> that's another problem. Uh, especially on the uh, vintage Macs, anything from about 2011 back, you've got to run on MBR uh, instead of GPT. Oh yeah, that's Windows. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have multiple partitions on your drive, uh, your drive, and you only have one drive, you can't run Windows because if you try to run it in GPT, you're going to have multiple hardware issues <laughs> if it boots at all. And you'll have a lot of crashes and stuff. <laughs> Luke Miani oh, figured that out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has a lot of issues when he tries to actually do hardware stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, don't get me started on that dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Hopefully see any he... questions uh, regarding to Windows, but I have a question that kind of no, it's not in any way related. But <laughs> yeah, um, okay. Rocky and yep. Greg are messing around with uh, SteamOS. Is that yep. a worthy substitute of Bootcamp? 
I don't know I, yet because I haven't been able to get it to work. <laughs> I would say, well, SteamOS is based on Debian Linux, and it's a Linux OS. Now, it's very proprietary in the fact that it's focused to run Steam on the system. I do have it successfully running on my white MacBook 2008, actually. Let me see if I can boot it up over here. I have it. Yeah, that's the same one I'm trying to get it to work on, but it won't get past the... Uh, I have the EFI boot. I even formatted that thumb drive with a Windows computer, and it's still... Yeah, I'll have to maybe send you, like, do that walkthrough on it, but... Let's see if I can get this bad boy to boot quick. It's got an SSD in it right now. There she goes. But yet it, it, it'll take up the whole thing. You can't dual boot that, right? Yeah, not the not the Steam OS, no, uh uh-uh. Steam OS is <laughs> yeah, there's the <laughs> whole system. So it's still booting, but this is a two point four two thousand eight, but Well, you gotta remember boot camp was actually developed just for Windows. You good. cannot add any other operating system. Well, not, than, officially. <laughs> well yeah, not, exactly. officially. not officially. Not officially. Right, but if the if the primary use is gaming and SteamOS can do that for you, mm-hmm. then you yeah, know, it's a viable option yeah. as, as long as it supports your yeah. graphics chipset. Now well, I am going to actually test actually doing a SteamOS install on my Mac Pro. Now the trick is I'm going to yank all my hard drives out and put a separate <laughs> one in there first. I don't want to wipe all of them. <laughs> but yeah, that would definitely yeah. fix the um, only one operating system problem. Well, I do know that the the hardware requirements for SteamOS is it's got to have four gigabytes of RAM. It's got to have mm-hmm. uh, an AMD or Intel compatible uh, or NVIDIA. Uh, oh, no, no. I'm talking about the CPU. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, the graphics, it didn't really mention the graphics at all, but it did say it had to have a 200-gigabyte hard drive, which I kind of, I was, I was like, what? Because I only got 160 in mind, but still, yeah. uh, 200 <laughs> seems a little bit excessive yeah, for an operating system. Well, they're just, the reason they're saying that is they're probably anticipating, for the yes, you they're know, anticipating your yeah, and Probably all the, the drivers and everything, and God knows what. Actually, yeah. the OS is really, really small itself. It's, yeah, it's, it's only like five installs. gigabytes, I think. Yeah, or, no, guessing, it's actually two gigabytes. I'm that, just guessing for to be compatible with a lot of PC hardware, they're probably going to have to have a lot of drivers in there for graphic chipsets and things. That's oh, an yeah. assumption, but yeah. maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but they focus on gaming, so I imagine the, the driver situation is better handled than mm-hmm. Luke. I would hope so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very good handled. Of course, it's still booting over here. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> takes a while. Oh, it's now it's ju- updating. Okay. It's on a Core 2 Duo, too, so that's yeah. probably why. Well, so you might want to run that loading bar graphic again. It's going all the way through. <laughs> it's doing an update again. You and your fancy 64-bit processors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it goes. See, I have, I have two MacBooks like that, so I'm trying to do it on one of them. To see if I can get it to run. She booted. Now keep in mind she's on battery at the moment. I don't have her plugged in, so she might die. <laughs> Did you just assume it's gender? Uh, I was gonna say. Hey, <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> he's, he's. I think the more important fact here is he's killing MacBooks on live go. television. This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm see? okay with Steam OS. It works. It's just not Windows. <laughs> yeah, it and does mean, it all works. the hardware work on it, right? Yes, it does. That is Bluetooth, Linux, now. Wi-Fi, and everything. There's nice. not a thing that doesn't work on it. Except, well, the brightness and everything, you have to control it from, because I don't think it supports the function keys. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm but. sure there's an open source utility to mess with that. Oh, yeah. It's just basically Ubuntu yeah, or just, Debian. it's based off of Linux. There's got to be an open source. Oh, system. yeah. But well, find uh, the hey, Rocky, but. one of the questions I have on that, can you use it as a regular OS instead of just Steam yes. playing games? Yes, you That's, can because yeah. Steam has published that, and you do have to tell it that, you know, an update might break at some point if, you know, something conflicts with whatever you install. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they do tell you, because it is a straight basic, like uh, either Debian or Ubuntu install, that... They're, you know, all-encompassing software is built into the overlay on top of it and the GUI and all that. So, you know, if you do enable the desktop mode, then anything, you know, it basically just functions as a, you know, Debian Linux or Ubuntu OS is what it is. I think it's Debian-based. I don't think it's actually conical Ubuntu, so. Okay. Yep. 
But it does work. You can install apps on it and everything. So that's an alternative to boot camp. Well, it wouldn't even be boot camp. It'd just be straight. <laughs> you'd have to wipe out whatever. Alternative hard drive. OS, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now you can install Debian Linux straight yeah. to the MacBook as well, and it works. It works fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to set up the uh, set it up with a blank, um, non-formatted partition, mm -hmm. and then it should just install over it. Yeah, the, I think it's, it's the same one on Power PC. Yeah, I think it's mm -hmm. it's best to to just say you're in for going down a rabbit hole if you're installing an alternate <laughs> OS on a Mac. It's, yeah, hey, it's they work really well. Picky, oh, it'll work well, but yeah. Well, that's why I want to experiment with it too. When when Rocky said that. Well, he started out, he's going to do Android, and I guess that didn't work out. No, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> uh, so, you know, he said SteamOS, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Let me try that, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try it with him, so I'm still working on it. I just tried it today for the first time, and I'll well, do some more research on it. Yeah, now the really cool thing about it is um, I use the Steam, uh, what do they call it? It's It's basically the remote gaming feature, and what you can do it's like Steam streaming. So my main Mac Pro that actually runs all my games in Windows and uh, Mac OS, I actually can sit downstairs on this MacBook, boot it up, have my little Steam controller that I've got laying around here somewhere, or one of my controllers. I can have one of my controllers with me, and I can take that MacBook downstairs, and I can actually stream the game from my gaming computer to the MacBook. So it runs... Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh-oh, who did we lose? I see somebody is a exclamation point. Rocky. I see him perfectly fine on my end. Right. Well, your exclamation point. <laughs> you uh, might. My Mac is overheating again. No, it's not. Oh, there you no, it's not overheating. I just checked the fans. It's actually <laughs> yep, the the GPU the GPU is running at sixty degrees right now. Uh, just rejoin the call, Rocky. This yeah. Yes, yep. on mine you are. Not for me. <laughs> well, he's not on my iPad, but he is on the Mac. So, all right. What you get for using fixed the thermal paste. That fixed it. Yep. <laughs> well, it's still. <laughs> Some problems with FaceTime there. We're still finding out there's issues. Like, for instance, okay, Jay. Now you're in audio mode. I'm in audio mode? No. I see his video? I can see yeah. it. I've got video. i got video. Yeah. You're good now. All right. We're going to move on to our next topic here. Uh, and I think we're going <laughs> to shove this over to Jay a little bit because Jay's been actually having a lot of fun with this. Not me. Uh, yeah. Final, <laughs> Final Cut Pro video editing. So, Jay, you take care of this one. Uh, no, I'm going to yeah. push it to Steve because it was his topic. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you're the one who wasn't going to say anything. I've, I've been using Final Cut for all of a month. <laughs> I don't have I've been using it for a year and, and uh, two for almost two years, and I still barely know how I use it. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's a good time to start using it because it's 20 years old. Happy birthday! Well, at Yay! least in its original Yay! iteration. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just want to talk about uh, you know Final Cut Pro in particular, but also we'll open it up later to you know video editing packages on the Mac and what you guys use. But um, I used uh, iMovie for the longest time on my uh, Intel iMac. That's the 2006 model that I had, and um, I was mainly using it to convert uh, videotapes, you know, old home movie tapes to a digital format. But my first experience with iMovie was on my dad's G4. He had a, a 450 megahertz AGP tower, and it worked pretty well because, you know, it, it was pretty much designed to do that stuff in OS 9, but rendering videos just brought that thing to its knees. <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember, you know, making an iDVD. And it was just like five to six hours rendering for like a ninety-minute DVD. It was, I it got it, it worked. You just had to leave it overnight. So uh, when I got that Intel Mac and it rendered in like an hour, that was like insane. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I played around with iMovie, iMovie HD, and then you know they just rebranded it to iMovie. I never really touched Final Cut Express too much. Um, I did play around with Final Cut. I think it was version two in the OS 9 days a little bit. Um, and then I started playing around with Final Cut about a year and a half ago. or Actually, no, I think it was probably 2017, 2016, something like that. 
Um, but just for a little odds and ends now and again, because I found that iMovie was not working the way I wanted it to. Um, and especially for my AV capture device, which is an analog to digital uh, converter. And so iMovie stopped liking it, but Final Cut Pro still liked it. So I had to force myself to learn Final Cut Pro. And, uh, you know, that was the studio version, not Final Cut Pro X. And then that was another learning process. So I've, you know, been through a bit now, but <laughs> uh, I do, I, wa- I want to say I do like Final Cut Pro X. It has come a long, long way since its original release because it was missing a bunch of features. It was buggy. It was weird, but. It was a very, very long way. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and there was a lot of kicking and screaming along the way. But I've been, you know, messing around with digital videos since. You know, a Power Mac 7500 with the AV inputs on the back of it. So uh, I, I think it's it's a very interesting uh, piece of software. And it's amazing what you could do, you know, with video editing, not just on the Mac, but even, you know, on an iPad these days. So um, True. Yeah, that's that's sort of my experience with Final Cut Pro. And or I still call it Final Cut Pro, you know, not the X, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, and I started, you know, just exclusively editing my videos on it maybe – for my YouTube channel the past year and a half or so. So that's where I'm at. And I think it's a, a great piece of software. There's a lot of complexity to it, but just start small and then just Google a lot. And, you know, you'll be able to find great tutorials and everything about, uh, you know, effects and transitions and things like that. Yeah. yeah. And I got to say, uh, we'll, we'll put a link in the description after the video renders, uh, after we done, uh, after we're done being live, but, uh, everybody needs to check out Mac 84, and it's Mac 84 or Mac 84 TV. He's actually listed. Yes, he's at, if you go uh, to the yeah, main I'm, channel, he's actually listed there in yeah, our he's personal on the main channel. channel. Yeah, yeah on, the main on, channel. on YouTube it's just Mac 84. Um, I had to change that to Mac 84 TV on Twitter and Instagram because those usernames are already taken. So ah, okay. that's that's the mystery behind that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the the. The quality of your videos, it's just, it's on point. It's clean, it's crisp. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, I, I dig it. That's the excuse I use for why it takes so long between videos. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, um, I started with iMovie. <clears throat> Sorry. And I didn't own a camera. I didn't own a Mac that was good enough to run iMovie. But my brother did. So he had one of those uh, Sony DV cameras that you had to hook up with Firewire. Uh, Mac OS 9, it was still, and I think it was, I think it was a Sawtooth G4 that he had, and messing around with iMovie, and it was pretty, it, it was a lot of fun, and I used iMovie on and off, until Apple destroyed it, and turned it into <laughs> what it is now, <laughs> I think the last version that was still uh, normal was iMovie HD, version 6, I believe, oh, 06, wow, yeah, and yeah. funny enough, uh, that's when I ditched iMovie. Like I got to learn everything over again. Screw this, not gonna happen. And then on the opposite end, when Apple destroyed Final Cut, that had a lot of people upset. I was like, hey, I kind of understand this now. Because before oh, it was yeah. like, whoa, I need, I need to <laughs> I, I, hit the books and yeah. get an education in this stuff. But after they changed it to Final Cut Pro X, I was like, hey, I can I can manage. I didn't really do anything with it until a few months ago. But, you know what that was, Jay? I think it was making it easier for people like us to actually use it. Yeah. And the video, the guys that were actually making videos are like looking at job security. They're like, we know how to use this. We don't yeah. want other <laughs> amateurs coming in, <laughs> you know, learning. And that's why they probably got upset. Yeah, I think the, the, the story, I, I might be mixing it up. So guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I think the story, it was either behind the new iMovie or it was the new Final Cut Pro that somebody came back from a trip and had all this footage and they told Apple it was too hard to use their software to do this. And they basically brought them in and they redesigned the package around their input. I, I think it was iMovie, but that was like the big 06 to God knows what was the problem, but the, the crummy version of iMovie. But Jay, you may remember the, the next version of iMovie was so bad that Apple included a free download for iMovie HD 06. Yep. And that download was still alive on their website a while back, but you could actually patch the download by changing a plist file in there to trick it because it would do a check to see if you have iLife installed, you know, the newer version of iMovie. 
So I, I have that somewhere on my archive. I think here. I think I ran that <laughs> until uh, El Cap or maybe even Sierra. Yeah, yeah. Until I think um, one of the OSs broke compatibility, just refused to turn on or, or well, rolled yeah, it up rather. You, you just uh, right click and go to show uh, package stuff, and then you could usually still open it up. But um, show package stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a technical term for it. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Um, <laughs> What I remember, use, Grudy said he was going to get incoherent as the stream went. So, <laughs> yeah, I've already seen three cans go down. So. Okay. Start taking your bets. <laughs> um, what I used for the beginning of my channel and um, even the renewal of my channel, um, when my channel started up, I was using Windows Movie Maker. Oh my gosh. Was, I remember that. When the channel started back up, I was still using the same version of Windows. <laughs> <laughs> Four and a half years later. Uh, it ain't but, broke. Nice. If it ain't broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I wasn't super great at it. Um, <laughs> but it was the only thing I knew how to use at the time. And um, I finally broke down when I um, was starting to really use my Mac Pro Hardcore. I uh, bought iMovie. Uh, for what sixteen bucks, whatever it is, and uh, forced myself to learn how to use that. And um, a while later, um, I used my college discount to get Final Cut Pro Ten for like ninety five bucks. Really? Oh, yep, the Grudy froze. Oh. He froze. <laughs> Look, at that Look at that face. Look at that face. He froze on too. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, I guess that's hotel Wi-Fi. Make a screenshot on the stream. There we go. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to make that the uh, the, the picture. Of the, I, I thought we were all gonna freeze in solidarity, right? No, there. I was like, I was watching everybody else. It's like Rudy's the only one that froze. <laughs> He'll be back. All right. Uh, we got anything else for Final Cut Pro? Yeah, what about you, Greg? You use Final Cut, don't you? I just started using it. Um, I used iMovie for a while. I I do iRacing videos on YouTube. Um, since I do iRacing, I do replays back, and I record that, and then I uh, put it on YouTube. Well, I started using Final Cut Pro now because I have templates now where I have the intro, the outro. I've learned how to put music in where I want it. Uh, I've learned the transitions. I mean, there's a lot of things that I, at first, it was looked daunting, like Jay said. But now it's like, man, I'm get, becoming an expert at this. Um, and if you guys don't know, if you didn't watch the very beginning of this video, go back when it's finished rendering and watch <laughs> the very beginning. That is something that Jay made with Final Cut Pro. And that's going to be our new intro, our five-minute intro uh, you guys were asking for a loading bar, and he actually made a loading bar. <laughs> yeah, he did. And the little zooming in graphic of the blue and white G3, that was also made in Final Cut Pro. That was made by Steve. Yeah. Yep. And I'm my next video that's going to come out, I'll actually have it in Final Cut Pro. Now, be warned, my video quality is going to be terrible because I'm oh, terrible at Final Cut Pro. I'm oh, you'll get better. <laughs> hey, we got Grudy back, and you should see your He's face back. when you froze. <laughs> yeah, I put a screenshot in that message. Oh, yeah. I saw it. Yeah, I, I, the internet at the hotel just went out. I am currently um, streaming at, on LTE. Which won't be for very long because I do have a limited data. Uh, Still better than your home connection. <laughs> huh? Hey. But anyway, where was I? Uh, I don't remember. You were somewhere around this. <laughs> you were like. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I, I was using um, until. Um, well, now half of you are exclamations. You still there? Yeah, we're, still we're all still here. here. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> now I see Rocky paused, but yeah, I did. I don't okay. think you want to. I don't think you want to see the entirety of my house. Oh, well, he's oh. in the bathroom. Oh, hey, uh, who says? <laughs> but Give anyway, us a courtesy flush. I, um, <laughs> I, uh, I forced myself to uh, learn how to use Final Cut, which helped a lot. And then I um, just I only learned the basics of it. I'm still learning as I go, and uh, you, you guys 
If you watch one of my more recent videos, I finally learned how to use split screen so I could fight with myself. It was <laughs> telling yourself, telling you, sitting there saying bad, groody, bad, groody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. <laughs> no. That's not funny. Stop it. <laughs> it was funny the first two times, not the third or fourth time. Yeah, I, I, I told you like guys five this time was, it, it was going to happen at some point. A guy that keeps snakes and rats and spiders, he's going to lose his mind at some point. And it I don't happens. have snakes. <laughs> And he has like 65 Macs in his kitchen, you know, so. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's nothing. Dining room, dining room. Dining room, same thing. Kitchen, Healthy dining room. obsession. Let's see if my <laughs> Healthy. <laughs> All that RFI. Now, Jay, just, oh, I thought you froze for a second there, and you were like this. <laughs> the internet is literally out, guys. This is annoying. I, I can't stay on very long if I this keeps going on. What, no unlimited data? No. What kind of nerd are you? Need Sprint. We, we have a 71, uh, 72 gig uh, data cap right now. What? 72 gig? It's a family plan. It's more than I have. And I have Dude. like eight people on my plan. <laughs> I have four on mine, and we don't even get close to like 20 gigs. Yeah. We, well, we've, we've got about to learn how to use five, I think, on ours, but it's unlimited. Cost us an arm and a leg. Yeah. Whoop, All sorry. right. Ooh. <laughs> 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 ah, we're falling. Can't get up. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to our next topic here. I think we kind of beat this one down. Uh, stick. Yeah. Yeah, I would just say anybody who uses anything different, post it in the comments. Like, yep. <laughs> there you go. Uh, next topic Mac OS 9 and graphics cards. What GPUs Woo! are available? What GPUs work best for what? And uh, so we're going to go ahead and throw this over to Rocky. I think you made up the list on this, correct? You yep. had to bring this up as I needed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's the next just take us with you. <laughs> you just, just take us with you. Right. No, no, we don't. Uh, actually, we. Yeah, no, I won't do that to Greg. He'll he'll lose it. Uh, go yeah, ahead, I mean, start it. Well, you no, I meant, I meant GT. Just start your stuff in the Greg well, we there. Can, we can wait until he gets back, and let me ask you something about the last topic. Who uses iMovie on their iOS device? Because I think it uh, sucks. I oh, I, I try. I use iMovie on Mac OS before I started Mac or the Pro, whatever. I used iMovie on the iPhone, like, maybe for five minutes, and I'm like, this is garbage. <laughs> I tried it on my iPad, and it said the same thing. I was like, uh, no, I'm not. It's doing. just very confusing and unintuitive. Oh, I had the first hard. version on the iPad, like the first iPad, and it was just very slow. Well, and I, just I think never yeah. back. the biggest problem with iOS is the file system because you can't just drag and drop files like you can yeah. on Mac OS. So it, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult because even if you have split screen mm-hmm. on your iPad like I do, it's still difficult because you can't like drag a file out of the file system. To, now you're talking about that. the iMovie one on the iPhone and stuff like that, that you have yes. to use when you try to edit a video on your phone. Cause that's the yes. only time I remember using it. It forces me to go into it to clip my videos. I'll be right back guys. The internet just came back on. Oh, oh, okay. okay. And, uh, I've been sitting at this desk all day soldering. So I'm still here. I'm just going to stretch my legs. <laughs> there you go. Been breathing in all the solder fumes, huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> because unlike you, I actually use a fume extractor. <laughs> <laughs> I have a window for that. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. All right, As, so uh, let's go ahead into our next topic. <clears throat> uh, you can start it with... There's Gertie, right. he just yep. came back. Well, and here's here's what we've got. Uh, Gertie and myself, we put together the basically i'm not going to say this is an all encompassing a- because a- of you course mostly did it but still yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, and um, it will actually hopefully sometime soon go up on the uh, mac Yek website which will be a huge boon to everybody out there um don't say that it's a complete list because obviously i mean that the list will always be expanding um but we tried to compile um a list of a lot of the common ones uh, maybe Let's see here. Let me look through. What what would you say about it, uh, Greg? <laughs> You're the I'll better talker to, than I'm me. Trying to get this to reload. Now what? what, what okay. you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things we go to to entertain you guys. No exactly. shit. Oh, jeez. 
And there's what a, was that? Well, uh, I mean, what what would you like to say about it? I mean, you know, I kind of gave it the intro piece, so I'll toss toss the thing. There is a lot of cards that are compatible with OS nine that are decent OS ten cards, um, and there there is a broad range of these cards that really allow you to play uh, OS nine games really well. Uh, but um, the t- cream of the crop card would be the TI-4600. And that card, yep. believe it or not, will still play OS ten games really well. Um, it will even play Doom 3. I think that's like the minimum requirement. So it's not going to play at max. But it's still a very usable card. Um, that's the card that uh, goes for a pretty penny on eBay, right? Yeah, yep. they go for... 200 plus dollars um and they do if i was home i'd show you guys my card um i do have a link i could uh, probably um link from uh one of my videos but anyway the only problem with those cards is the cooler which uh would eventually the fan just kind of jams up it stops oh, yeah. working and there's no warning okay the, j- the fan just stops working and then the card will, um, the card can actually cool itself for a while, but it's going to get really, really hot doing it. Mm-hmm. And basically what happens with the TI-4600 is they'll just eventually melt themselves because the fan seizes up. That sounds I, like fun. I, I have a video uh, of me installing an aftermarket after I bought a, uh, a broken TI-4600, which was um, advertised as a... Uh, like a PC card, it was not marked properly on uh, eBay, so I got it for like sixty bucks, and uh, I swapped out the cooler. And I'll tell you what, that is a really neat card. But there's a lot of yeah. other OS nine cards that really, really do work great. Um, and um, the only cards, basically any card made after the Rage cards, uh, will give you an extremely good experience up through Leopard. Um, the Rage cards yeah. are... Eh, I would agree were, with that. They were top in when they came out, but they um, they put them in max for way past their um, expiration date, really. Um, oh, yeah. Rage cards just... They, they suck. So yeah, which one the, 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 which which one's supports metal? But only OS. Not which one's the what? Which one supports metal and can run more happy? <laughs> oh, see how that'd be nice. You are funny, Jack. They, they support metal in that the bracket to you know, hold the PCI radio exactly. card in is metal. That's what they support. Now, fun fact about the uh, the TI-4600 and also the 44 and the 4200, those are actually all the same GPU. They're just at different clock speeds and have different uh, RAM speeds. And that's literally the only difference between those cards, henceforth the larger cooler, on the 4600, and if you get lucky like me and you had a 4200 that was actually a later variant of the 4600, it runs at the 46, 4400 uh, clock speed and has the same clock RAM without actually being a 4600 or 4400. Yeah. So, yeah, you get some really nice specs on those. And interestingly enough, also, uh, going on into the ATI category... I've got a 7,000. Uh, it's not a Mac edition. It's a 64 bit because the Mac editions only came in 32 megabyte. So I have a 64 meg um, Radeon 7,000 that I flashed over from PC. It runs phenomenally uh, in an old G3 blue and white. So basically, to um, just repeat what I just said, if you get any card past the Rage, they're going to perform really well on any mm-hmm. OS 9 game. And um, run great with OS X, maybe not in the games, but um, like with the TI-4600, that will run OS X games pretty well. So, now, question. Oh, oh, go, go ahead. For sure. uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> remember, I, I got a, a video card from a G5 that was modified to work in my G4. Are there any... Like cards that came way past OS nine, like a G five card or a later G four card that you can downgrade to work with OS nine. Not yet. Rocky said that he was working on a few. But still working on it. <laughs> he's still not getting it. So that's never happening. Cool. Yeah. Well, 
the the tricky part is with the ATI cards, supposedly there's a rumor mill that you can get some of the later 9000 series to work in OS 9 because, you know, you can molter some of the drivers because they had some support in the mobility radio 9000s yeah. and yep. the 9000, yep. 91 or 92, 92, well, 50s. It, it's like uh, with um, OS 9 lives, they uh, had mm-hmm. um, aftermarket driver patches and stuff. Um, for like the 800 iBook G4, uh, which can run OS 9, it's got the Radeon 9200 drivers, mm-hmm. uh, which uh, that particular chipset um, in that iBook wasn't originally supported in OS 9 since it didn't support OS 9. Mm-hmm. And what they did is they hacked the uh, PCI. 9200 drivers that were for like the aftermarket 9200s for uh, blue and whites and stuff to get them to work and um, they also did that, uh, I think they used the same driver on the uh, Mac Mini, Jay did a video on uh, running OS 9 on Mac Mini Um, it's basically the same driver Mm -hmm. so there are some uh, later cards that are compatible with OS 9 with a little hacking now I have uh, an ATI Sapphire 7000. I think mm-hmm. it's a 64 meg model. Um, now, I read some conflicting stories that it may only work in a blue and white and newer. It won't work in like a, a beige G3 yeah, or a 9600 tower. Uh, that is, I would say that is um, a toss up because I ran my 7000 in my 6400 200 that well, I had. Well, the, the problem is, is the uh, ROM chip. Um, the size of it, um, okay. it doesn't allow for uh, both flashes because the new world ROM and the old world ROM oh, okay. flashes. And um, I, I had the same problem with my um, Sapphire 7000, uh, which I wanted to run in my G3 Beige. And it just would never show a video because it only has the new world ROM on it. So yeah. is there a way I could flash a ROM to this to make it an old world ROM? I saw that um, maybe some of the sizes were a little different, but some people if someone had ever success. just rides it up for old world ROM without including the new world ROM, it might fit. And the other side of it is to look at your Sapphire card and find out how big the ROM is. Because I got lucky with my 7000 card that's in my uh, G3 right now. Mm -hmm. It actually had a big enough ROM on it. It took the full Mac Edition 7000 ROM, and it it runs fine. So how do I know the ROM size? Can I look at the back of the card and look at a serial number, or do I have to run some You'd actually have to, well, that's a... the easiest way would be to actually look on the card, find the actual ROM itself, and see what the chip comes up as, how big. Uh, the other one would be to do a dump on it and see. There, there's a couple different ways to do it. I haven't done that in a while on an ATI card. I've done it on, you know, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> James is talking about a voodoo. You would actually be better off if you want to put in an old world machine, then that's mm-hmm. a good segue. We have it included on here because they are OS 9 compatible. But get a Voodoo. Get a Voodoo 3, 4, or 5. All three of those have very easy flashes. They are all 100% compatible. And all you got to do is just get the um, copy of the ROM. And in some cases, like the 3000, I mean, literally all I did was download the ROM patch Mm -hmm. that was released by uh, 3DFX themselves. And it just flashes right over. And works like like it was meant for it. Yeah, I have a lot of graphics cards that are mostly AGP uh, Rage cards from, like, you know, the early G4s. So, you know, the 7000, I'm, I'm not looking to do anything fancy with I wanted to basically put it in the Mac clone and see how much I could push it. So maybe I'll, I'll see if I can find an old world ROM that'll work with it. And I'll, yeah. I'll make a video yeah, on maybe. it if I have any success. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be happy to help you with that. Yeah, and in the project that I was working on, so everybody kind of understands is to get a 5200 NVIDIA to work in OS 9. And that's tricky because it's a slightly different um, GPU than what the 4600 used, but I'm trying to trick it to actually use it because hacking the driver's set, well, the extensions in Mac OS, uh, from the 4600 and et cetera, to actually utilize the newer is much more difficult because NVIDIA locks down their uh, GPUs, drivers, and such not in that version of Mac OS and stuff. So it's very hard to actually crack them. 
film. What? Yeah. <laughs> now we'd be silence here. <laughs> yeah, I we'll guess be, that wraps it up. Uh, <laughs> that, I think I mean, we wrapped it up. We've, we beat this one dead, really. Well, yeah. If you want to check out more information, we will eventually uh, upload uh, our write up on the OS9 cards. And um, who asked that, by the way? Someone on Facebook asked. Yeah, it was it was some he was asking about the OS nine compatible. Well, anyway, we forgot to check who it was. So yeah. <laughs> now, now, a quick question I, for Jay. I think it was, yeah. After you're done, Rudy, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I think it was just uh, someone on uh, OS nine users or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, thank you for that. It was a, it was a very good topic. Anyway, go on, Steve. So, Jay, I see in the comments someone mentioned the ATI 7000, but it was in an X-Serve, so obviously, you know, they just had a bare-bones graphics card just so you could see what's on the screen. But are those a special connector, or what's the story behind that? You may you may have uh, come G, across one. The G5 one, uh, PCI is all PCI X. They take red, regular PCI cards. But uh, what about taking that card and putting it in an older machine? Haven't mm. tried. I don't know. New I video for you, Jay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I only have one graphics card that I use for the Xserve. The G5, I'll use a, a ATI Rage 128 from a G3. The Intels all have built-in graphics because they didn't have a cluster node edition. And the G4, all the ones I have, I think, I think they have a dedicated uh, video output as well. I would have to check. Hmm. Yeah, because I'd be interested. I'm, I'm sure I could just Google generic. Is is the same practice? I'm sure on PC machines is for Mac. If the power voltage of the PCI card is compatible, etc. But I'm yeah, just curious. Cool. Yeah. And by the way, um, it was uh, a question from Diederik Magre in macOS Nine is still alive. Ah, Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. Yep. And all right. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our next topic then. I think we, like you said, we beat this one down. <laughs> <laughs> we're beating uh, a lot of dead horses tonight. <laughs> yeah. okay, All right. Next topic, MacYak. When it's not live, what do we do? Well, okay. pretty much what you see us doing here <laughs> is kind of what we do offline, except we might be a little bit more colorful. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we we basically talk about stuff like this. That's the reason why we came up with this channel because we started out mm-hmm. doing this, yep. and we all thought that hey, why don't we talk about this? Maybe people would be interested in what what you know what we're talking about. Maybe not, you know. But yep. I mean, looking at the stream right now, we're, we've got a bunch of viewers right now that seem to be interested in how boring us nerds are, <laughs> you know. So, anyways, um, for this topic, you know, uh, let me go back to my notes here. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, okay. <laughs> the setup I'm using to, to broadcast this, uh, I actually have two different uh, screens here. One is actually on my iMac 2009, which is actually showing this is what you're seeing on the screen here. Aren't Everything. You your iPad around? Yeah, let me do that real quick. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> It's kind of a mess, but that's behind right. the curtain. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to flip this around. If it flips, there we go. All right, so that is the screen that uh, it's on my 2009 iMac that you're seeing. Everything that's on that screen is being broadcast, ex- minus the graphics. Okay, the graphics Ooh. are coming over from uh, Wirecast. <laughs> but okay, let me over here is my 2017, which is actually doing all the work. So you see I have the YouTube analytics up there, the chat, everything. Uh, I have our notes right there. Uh, then I have Wirecast uh, playing, and that's got all of our different graphics and everything. And you can see the, the stream and everything is going pretty good. So um, that's actually my setup. So basically I'm using this in target display mode connected to this. So it's actually a very expensive monitor right now. Yeah. Is what that is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the behind the scenes. Now, um, let me turn this, flip this back around. Okay, there we go. Um, the thing is, though, is that 
you know, we're using YouTube in like a, yesterday we did a test and some of you guys showed up on there because I went to go open up Wirecast just to see, make sure everything was working fine. And all of a sudden all my settings were gone. So I had to go and set everything up. Now Wirecast is kind of like Final Cut Pro, except a little bit different because this is broadcasting live versus compressing the stuff. So there's a little bit of finagling to make it work with YouTube. Uh, I think we finally got this figured out. Uh, <laughs> we say every week. Yeah, we say it every week, and we always have a little small problem that, like, to, we, to, we well, have a small problem. <laughs> yes, we we're we're all in this together. Okay. Sure, 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 GT. That's right. I, I'm, I'm taking you guys with me now. I'm sinking ship. <laughs> There ain't none of this captain going down with the ship here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, like I had a problem. I, I had my gaming headset hooked into the USB port. I have a USB, four USB ports that face me from the back of the Mac. It's one of those little connector things. Uh, Jay's got one too, and they work excellent. So I don't have to reach around the back of the Mac. That's one of the stupidest things designed, but we won't get into that design flaw there. Yeah. <laughs> but I had that hooked up, and it was actually taking audio off of my headphones, which was not going there. That's <laughs> so that's the reason why there was no audio at first. But once I unplugged it, boom, the audio picked up. Boom, we had no problem. Yeah. Now, you and Jay put together the videos in Final well, Cut Pro, as we found out earlier. I do the broadcasting, but I don't put together videos, so I'm going to go to Jay and let him <laughs> talk about what he does behind the scenes. Uh, well, I don't put together videos either. It's all live. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do, um, you do some of the videos, like the first intro video. Well, I did the actual first intro video, and then Steve edited it, and then that's on there. But you did the... Loading bar one, right. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, I uh, I take care of the website mac-yak.com. I hang out a lot on Discord to keep that uh, to keep that chat going, and uh, I make the graphics that you see at the bottom of the screen. The overlay, actually, my wife made those, uh, mm -hmm. and I just edit them for every show to match the topics and all that. That's about it. And I chase all these dudes around for like, where's the topics, damn it? <laughs> you don't chase me most of the time because I'm the one putting most of the topics in there sometimes. <laughs> yeah, true. But so, I'm still taking you down with me, just like you did for me. Just now. There you go. There so, you Rocky, go. what do you do? Well, I actually maintain uh, the Discord, and I also maintain our front for uh, Facebook, uh, I haven't yet moved to Twitter, <laughs> so, uh, but I maintain those two aspects primarily and then, of course, offer my meager input on different aspects uh, to try to help as I can. Um, of course, I am not the best in video or graphic, obviously. Otherwise, some of this stuff would be made by me, but yeah, no, you don't want to see my <laughs> stick figures and yeah. <laughs> well, you could, we could call you our social logo. Our, our social oh, media God, coordinator, yes. right? Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, I, that's I'm I'm kind of the behind the scenes coordinator though because I'm not real good at social media either. But I'm okay at maintaining the fr you know the front end of it. Just uh, I'm the I'm the smoke and mirrors behind the social media. Well, you actually <laughs> started up our Discord server, so you actually yeah. <laughs> are the owner of the Discord server. And you yep. also set up the Facebook group too. Yep. Yeah, because yep. speaking of which, I'm actually I actually own the Mac Yak. YouTube channel, uh, mm -hmm. but everybody else is actually moderators and can do just about everything I can do in it. So it's we all same. have equal, pretty much rights in it. Except yep. they can't. I could kick them out; they can't kick me out. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grudy, how about you? Explain how you got the name Grudy too. <laughs> I'd like to know. In the past, <laughs> but see, Steve yeah. wants to know. GT does an eye racing um, race a, a lot. Um, he's got a Twitch channel, and basically, we uh, we watch him on Twitch. And um, anytime you comment, he has this chat bot that reads back the comments. And I tell you what, some of them, when the trolls come in, it's it's funny. GT, it sucks, but it's funny. But anyway. Uh, on my uh, Twitch, my uh, uh, username is grudk, 
and the uh, the chat bot just says Groody. <laughs> it's not. So that that's my nickname. But um, yeah, what I do is n- not nearly as much as I was, <laughs> I was like. I wonder what he's doing. I'll, yeah, I'm sitting like I'll admit that I, I barely do anything. What I do is I, I like to try to promote. I need to <clears throat> promote it again on my channel for the people that haven't seen my last video on it. I try to promote. I uh, I haven't in the last few weeks, but I usually put out the announcements on uh, groups for um, to remind people. Um, and I do occasionally come up with the topics, uh, some of them. Um, but other than that, I don't do a whole lot. I just kind of sit there. <laughs> <laughs> so he admits it. <laughs> and we have I'm it on the video. Yeah. <laughs> it's Steve, he's our newest member. I, I'm going with the pretty face. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I try and bring interesting topics and archival stuff and knowledge that I should not know about old machines and junk <laughs> and try and keep it lively here. But I thoroughly enjoy hanging out with you guys and i appreciate you guys you know letting me uh play around on this podcast with you all um, well, explain did... how we found you though i mean how, how you oh, found us yeah that's that was fun well um Ooh. i think i joined the the facebook group i found it the uh, power pc gaming lounge yeah and um i joined that and about a week later i got the g5 tower that's sitting right here and uh, started playing around with you guys on Unreal Tournament. And we and, kept going, uh, well, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's well, jumping I, around? And I, not I play a pretty still. good game of it because I, in high school it was pretty much the, the hottest game out there. And it was the only Mac game I had that my PC friends could play with me on. So uh, that dates me a bit. But uh, that was the fun <laughs> game that I used to play. Uh, with everyone, so I got pretty good at it, I guess. But <laughs> uh, and then uh, you guys, uh, we were on Ventrilo or whatever voice chat, and uh, just kept talking. And uh, I think I I I, I talked poor. Um, uh, I think well, I'm trying to think of the the month it was, like how long ago it was, because it, it time it was a few months ago, yeah, <laughs> a few months ago, yeah, last but, year I think sometime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's just been. I don't know. Yeah, when we um, <laughs> when we uh, first met Steve, uh, we knew a, we knew he was a YouTuber. He told us he was a YouTuber. <laughs> you didn't look at my videos though. <laughs> many times, uh, but I um, later on realized that I had been watching him in the past because I, I watch strange stuff like that. <laughs> and you put two and two if, together. <laughs> if you're watching this channel. You watch the same strange stuff that we watch. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but um, I, I can't remember. Um, I think it was Jay that suggested that we um, have Steve on one day. And I, I remember vividly. A- yeah, I remember vividly playing a few games versus Jay, which he's hard to beat on Unreal. So <laughs> yeah. hard to beat. It's impossible to beat. What are you talking about? We started really chatting up. And at the end of, I think, the very first video, I said, this guy is a perfect fit for our group. Aww. And then it took <laughs> it took another, like, six videos or something like that before. I, I had to bribe people. a lot of you. I mean, yeah. there, was, there was old <laughs> Mac parts shipping all around. <laughs> yeah, but, but see, here's the thing, though. Grudy had a bad track, track record of... <laughs> Stuff like this. So yeah. we won't go into it, but yeah, that yeah, was. I, I just remember. I think it was after a few. Uh, Rocky probably remembers. Uh, hmm? It was when I first started playing Unreal with you guys. After the game ended, Rocky and I were still on uh, talking. Oh, yeah. and like I was like getting ready for bed. <laughs> it was like eleven o'clock. Next thing I look at my phone, it's like one a.m. I'm like I'm still talking to this guy. <laughs> I'm like these yeah. these guys are too much fun. I, I gotta I gotta <laughs> hang out with them more. So that that's how I came to be here. And my little mm-hmm. contribution so far is the video graphic of the the blue and white. In the, well, in the actually, video. you have your own you have your own section too now. So yeah, so I'll I'll try and keep some interesting stuff on there. And uh, hopefully, you know, you guys in the comments, let me know if you like any of those Apple Grams mm-hmm. and those things I'm posting. I basically don't find them anywhere else, so I thought might as well archive them and give them some attention. 
And we have one other member who's not here with us tonight, uh, Mike uh, Stanhope. Uh, he has been working hard lately. <laughs> uh, so he, we didn't know if he was going to be here tonight or not, and he hasn't shown up, so uh, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, he does his work our schedule is pretty brutal right now. So exactly, yeah. He he's another he's, he's another great out. classic guy who knows a lot about the old stuff. Exactly, oh, yeah. and, <laughs> and, and, and I think Mike and Steve complement each other on their knowledge of old they old do. Mac hardware. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of it is uh, you know not one person that does it. We we have a a group in messages that we hang out on every day. We hang out on Discord. We FaceTime daily. You know, when one of oh us my God. something I, apart. If you, yeah, if you guys could see our our chat right there, I mean, there's sometimes I'll wake up in the morning. There's like seventy or eighty something messages in there, and I'm like, I'm not going to read all those. What's just the just thing? from overnight. No, I go to lunch at work, and I come back, and I look at my phone, and there's just like eighty missed messages. Uh-huh. I'm like, what have you guys been doing? Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Well, we hang out all the time and we come up with we discuss topics like hey would this make a fun topic or hey could we do this so a lot of it is a joint effort too yeah mm-hmm. and, and i think i think unreal tournament actually brought all of us together because all five of us <laughs> yeah, all six i honestly of us. don't remember it feels like we've been doing this for five years already <laughs> well yeah, all, I mean, all that bloodshed really tugs at your heart <laughs> well i i met michael stanhope um because um, he was selling some IMAX and stuff, and I, I got one off of him, and he was a fan of my channel. And um, with Jay, I don't remember how we met at this point. It's been so crazy. I don't know. I just well, how did you meet Rocky? <laughs> There's a story. Well, I, I met Rocky because I'm a, a, a moderator on Low End Mac, and I almost fanned him. <laughs> Tell us why. <laughs> No, we won't go. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's I'm a troublemaker. That's why. <laughs> you little rascal, you. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is this is our group. I mean, we've got a very diverse group here. I mean, uh, we're all over the country. I'm in Arizona. Uh, I think uh, Jay's in Ohio. Rocky's in Kansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, Grudy's in West Virginia, and Steve is New in New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey, okay. And I think Mike is uh, Ohio too, isn't he? Or? No, I thought he's Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay. There you mm-hmm. go. So I mean, we're all over the country and stuff. So yeah, uh, we got guys with beards, yeah. without beards. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, and, and we got a question. That we got a question for the chat here. Doesn't Rocky? Look like the guy oh, from geez. Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> Put up the graphic. Yeah. Doesn't he Daniel look like Stern. that guy? Oh, you have to wear you guys... your flannel, though. <laughs> His, name was... <laughs> His name was Marv, right? Uh, yeah, Marv. Marv. Yeah, I think you're Marv. Right. <laughs> One of and the it criminals. looks better when my hair is a complete mess, too. So. <laughs> That's your next Halloween costume. <laughs> this is just some of the stuff we talk about offline, guys. I mean, we, we sat there and did that one last night. <laughs> We're like, hey, doesn't Rocky look like that guy from Home Alone? And we're like, yes, he does. So we went and pulled the picture up. And we're like, yep. Everyone watching right now is like, these guys are crazy. Yeah. There's also a lot of uh, motiv- motivating each other. Like when we hang mm-hmm. out offline and I'm, I'm recapping the power supply, Greg is upgrading his <laughs> iMac. Someone else will get motivated to start doing something. And we give, mm-hmm. we give each other crap mm-hmm. all the time. Like, dude. Yeah, it's been a week since your last video. Let's go. Let's do well, something. Like for instance, when I when I was upgrading my 2009, all you guys were on uh, FaceTime. I wasn't mm-hmm. streaming it live or anything, but you guys were on FaceTime watching it as I was doing it. You know, that's yep. that's what we do. Yeah, and when yeah, I had record uh, some of that and upload it as bonus material, I <laughs> I could, behind yeah. the paywall. That's right. <laughs> yeah, when I I had the uh, the Apple three, I was playing around with it. And I was talking to Mike, and you know he had a lot of experience actually with the Apple III, and knew some things about mm-hmm. the profile hard drive. And well, between that, the people that suggested that yep, just yep. needed boost. exactly, yeah. And I gave you guys credit in the video. And between you guys and some people on Facebook, that was like basically a weekend. I was tinkering around with the profile hard drive. Didn't never expect it to work. 
and all of a sudden it worked and I just went back and shot a bunch of footage and that was a video. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, well, you left the call a few times. Happen. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, I'll yeah. be right back after record this. And me and Mike were just hanging out in <laughs> the elevator. Like, okay, hey, is it coming back or what? Yeah, yeah. that's because I had to take apart the thing a few times and I realized I didn't push the record button on the tripod. And yeah, the, the, <laughs> the fun times of being a content creator. Well, it's yeah. funny. Uh, one of my, uh, a few of my more recent videos, I uh, was actually chatting on Discord with a bunch of people and uh, recording at the same time. Um, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I, I should do that as long as it's not taking up my phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's pretty much how what we do when we're not live. I mean, this it's pretty much the same thing we do when we're live here, but a little more colorful, should I say. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. we, <laughs> no filter. I'm going, I'm going to link the PowerPC um, Gaming Lounge again. And yes. By the way, it does. We also now do allow Intel Max too, but we're just mm -hmm. keeping the original name. So yes, <laughs> because now I'm going to start playing on an Intel Mac because I actually do <laughs> stream it on my Twitch channel every once in a while, and uh, so you guys can watch it on Twitch if you want to. If you can't play, uh, I do stream it on Twitch sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes. The next time I might do it because now that I got this dual monitor thing working, uh, I will probably end up doing it more often because I can actually see the monitor because it, it was hard when it was behind me and, you know, so anyways, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, let's go on to our next uh, section here. We're going to go to our news and rumor section. Um, this is kind of a new section we're going to start. We're going to try to keep up with the news of the week and stuff. Um, this week actually has been pretty darn exciting. Apple has come out quietly. They haven't really put out any announcements of new hardware. First off, they came out with the new iPad Air and the iPad Mini. That was, I think that was Monday. And then Tuesday, they came out with, um, uh, what was it, the... The AirPods. The AirPods, yeah. They came out with the AirPods 2. Then yeah. yesterday, they came yes, out they with a bump on the iMac Pro. They upped the graphics capability, upped the memory, upped the processor, uh, all that good stuff on the iMac Pro. So and the basically, regular iMac, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, the regular one? I didn't see that part, but yeah. So they've been quietly bumping stuff up. They now, have Still yet to update the iPod Touch, though. Yeah. I don't yep. think they are, to be honest with you, but who knows? And I don't see an iPod uh, Touch with a, with a notch in it. <laughs> no, iMac, they wouldn't do that. Right now, the iMac is the only product left with a freaking spinning hard drive. They still haven't put SSDs in there. Well, it's cheaper. That's probably how they're doing it. I know, the SSDs, but a Fusion Drive is such a ripoff. It is. I have a Fusion Drive in mind, but you know it boots up quick. You can buy it with just an SSD in it. You don't have to buy it with the mechanical included. Well, you'd have to get a bigger Fusion Drive because I think it's only a 128 gigabyte Fusion Drive that they put in. Or, or the it's 128 gigabyte SSD and then a one terabyte uh, spinning drive. Yeah. So you but, technically you get a uh, 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2. Uh, terabytes of storage, but yeah. the SSD is basically reserved for just the operating system. Uh, now you can buy them with like a two fifty six gig, five twelve gig. I think even now maybe a terabyte SSD in them. Yeah, the, and the not base, have to have the mechanical. Yeah, the yes, base you can. Model, you could just yeah. do the two fifty six SSD. I think it costs you a hundred bucks, uh, two hundred bucks. It says on yeah. the website. So uh, of course yeah. the Apple Premium. Yeah, and the. Uh, Dana is on the or Londo's hair is on the chat. Yawn, and I agree, it's not a speed bump that makes me want to go buy an iMac. But to be fair, I say a lot of bad stuff about Apple. They kept the price the same. They didn't raise the price. So for what That's it's worth, a plus. You know? so, yeah. Well, well, when you you go to upgrade your SSD on the iMac built to order page, and it's an extra seven hundred dollars for one terabyte <laughs> SSD. Well, someone did a Ouch. price comparison. If they maxed out the I, iMac Pro, it would cost you about fifteen thousand dollars if you maxed everything out. But that was always the case with the iMac Pro, wasn't it? Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so guys, what... um, I, my cousin's apparently watching. Hi, Jonathan. Yeah. Uh, he said, 25th for Apple. Um, big streaming news about, I guess, Apple TV's channel. Oh, yeah, their, their service or whatever. Well, that's what we all figured. I mean, I think we all agreed that Apple is going to announce its services. It's not going to be any hardware announced because I you think they're going to say that. You need to tell your cousin to watch last week's episode where we, <laughs> where we said that, yeah. Did yeah. we talk about it? Because I uh, that was yes, we did. the master of an episode. Yeah, you were probably <laughs> drunk again. But we talked about it. <laughs> yeah, I think what I think, they, yeah, they were, we the reason they're it, quietly we? releasing yeah. this stuff is because they want to focus that episode, that you know, episode, that event, just on that. And Tim Cook will probably come out and just say new iPads, new blah blah blah, like in five minutes, and the rest oh, of yeah. it will be yeah. on the streaming yeah. stuff yeah. because it's already they announced. And we already that. know. Yeah. yeah. Now, as far as the new iPad. Why did they come out with the old Apple Pencil with it? I mean, that to me... Cheaper. Uh, yeah, I know it's cheaper. But they have a boatload of them. They want to get rid of them. Probably. That's what I'm thinking is that the, the, now you got to stick it in the freaking iPad just to charge it, you know, and it's stupid. It looks There's like a, a lollipop. for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next news item. Uh, Microsoft Defender for Mac. This just I saw this come out today actually, didn't Yeah, didn't it? I, I'm the one that And there's the link in the uh, Yeah, there's the link in the description there, guys. Um they're bringing Microsoft wants to bring uh their Defender software over to Mac. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> I think it is BS. Um it's not it's not for the as as far as I understand it, it's not for the average consumer. It's not for home use because it has a lot of cloud connectivity and it's more more geared towards enterprise with alerting and reporting built into it. But still, why? Man? You're not going to beat the top five antivirus creators for the Mac. You, you, you're just not. So why yeah. even try? Yeah, and it's Windows. Yeah. I, think, I think what they're trying to do here is corporations, for you know, lack of a better word trust microsoft to a degree with security and updates yeah. and whatever you know they're, they're, they're they've been drinking the cute the kool-aid for years and you know when they see that oh microsoft has the same defender software i use on my windows workstations that i can install on my mac they're going to probably install it and i bet you it ain't going to be free if i mean well, that's why people end up with mcafee or norton on their mac they yeah. don't know it's absolute garbage because that's what they've been using well, on the PC I, I will say in Microsoft's defense, the latest version of Defender on the later versions of Windows is not terrible. It was a lot worse. It was a lot worse. I, I used to uninstall it and run my own antivirus stuff. Now, it's not perfect. It's free. But, you know, they've gotten a lot better. I have no idea how this is going to be. Obviously, it's it's this new product that's coming out. Who knows if it's going to be free, if it's going to be, uh, you know, a licensing thing or it whatever. Free. But... When I use Windows, I use Defender and mm. Malwarebytes. Yeah, same here. Defender runs in the background, and Malwarebytes about once a week or something like that. Whenever yeah. I feel like something might have been missed. Yeah, I used to have a Vast, and I, I still use that on some of my machines. But the ones that are new enough to run the latest version of Defender, I mean, I'm just playing games on it. There's nothing sensitive on my machine. Yeah. I'm not doing banking or anything on that. So it's you know it's pretty okay yeah well well if you're running windows 10 home edition you have no choice but to run defender that's one of those things that microsoft forces on you along with the updates at unopportune or inopportune times well i'm not going to completely profess that microsoft has done a lot of phenomenal things with the defender what used to be security essentials and actually was a company that they bought out, I think it was a forefront company or something like that is what it was called, uh, to actually produce their AV software. And I'm not going to say that it was phenomenal. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's actually a pretty decent uh, security software, especially with the rootkit protections, things like that. It actually does some decent things and has caught some good things. And you can complement it with, say, Mueller Bytes or, back in the day, SpyBot. So I'm... I'm optimistic to see what Microsoft does on 
the Mac platform because in late, later years, I've been very impressed with what app or excuse me, not Apple, what uh, Microsoft has done in their cross-platform applications. Microsoft Office in the later, like Office 365 renditions, I'm very, very pleased with it. It runs phenomenally on my Mac, it runs phenomenally on Windows, and I have zero problems with it, unlike its predecessors, which I was always wanting to uninstall, even though I loved using it. <laughs> so it was a headache. But, so I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful to see, I'll probably give it a few test runs and see how it goes. And just out of curiosity, maybe load up a Mac and try to get it infected. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think what <laughs> prompted Microsoft to really turn around on their Windows side of their software for, you know, Defender was they just needed something better built into their system because, you know, they were selling their own machines now. They had their own Surface machines. And for the longest time, Microsoft wasn't a hardware company. They were just selling mm -hmm. software. So yeah. I think what happened was they said, oh, crap, guys, you know, we have Windows here and we need to include an antivirus and some solution with this. And it has to be a good one. And we don't want to, you know, have Norton or McAfee taking any money from us. We want to have a solution. And so I think they just, you know, did, did a, had to do a, a pretty good job on it. And we'll see how things progress. And, kind of the uh, same thing they did with the browser wars. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, yeah, we'll see how it happens. And I'll check it out. If it's free, it yeah. Once out. it uh, once it becomes available, I will download and install it immediately, and I will let it loose on my entire collection of malware, uh, which I've been keeping up for years now. I got thousands of samples of any Mac malware you can possibly imagine, and I will pit it against forty-two other antivirus uh, products, and we'll see how it does. And I can guarantee you, unless they unless they buy the virus definition list from another company that does pretty well, they are not going to make it in the top 15. So, we'll yep. see. All right. Uh, last news item. It's another big one that actually came out today. Um, Facebook announced that they released <laughs> passwords, or they stored millions of <laughs> yeah. your passwords in plain text. So, if Is you that have bad? Yeah. <laughs> if you have a Facebook password, I suggest that you change it as soon as you get yes. down. Or right now, as as we're talking. I'll yeah. Do uh, Facebook and Instagram ago, passwords. They did it, and as long as you've changed your password in the last few years, you're probably fine. Uh, oh, really? But this just came out, so when did they change it to be encrypted? That's the question. And the story didn't show when. All they said was that employees mm -hmm. had access to your password and login. Do you really and trust that means employees? If they, if they got hacked at any point, anyone that took that information has it as well. Yep. So it, it's better to just change your password. Always a good idea if something gets hacked or something, if you get something hacked or a page of yours gets hacked, change your password. That's always the best advice right there. And we discussed this the week before last with our password uh, uh, managers and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, just change to something very strong. Use upper lowercase. Use uh, you know letters, numbers, and uh, yeah. other characters. Or just have your password manager generate something random, thirty characters, toss in some symbols and numbers. You'll yep. be all right. Well, it all depends too, because some places that you put or some sites you go to don't like you using certain characters and stuff. So True. a password generator will make up a password, and sometimes it won't work. They'll say, oh, you're using this character that we don't allow. You and know? if you still run into websites today that try to limit you when it comes to what password you can use, I would just stop using that website because that is really <laughs> anti Oh, I, yeah. Sometimes you have no choice. My 401k provider from my previous company – I kept choosing passwords that was too complex. No, it has to be under eight characters. No, you can't have this. You can't have that. And I'm like, you guys are crazy. But I eight had to characters? Log in. Eight yeah, it characters? Was, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. You know how long it would take a hacker to figure that oh, one out? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, mine were too complex. Like they had a too, day or two? Yeah, they had too many <laughs> uppercase or weird symbols. It was ridiculous. So I. I Jeez. thankfully don't, don't have to use them anymore. Now, the question is does it. your. Does your uh, 401k uh, provider actually 
lock you out after so many tries. Uh, yes, that's the reason why I had to call up and reset my password. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's where I, I found gonna, out about the limitation. I was going to uh, say brute, brute force in an eight-character password isn't that difficult. <laughs> no. Mm. So, so my cousin yeah. was trying to bring up the topic. In the last day, Apple stocks have surged in price. <laughs> okay. Password one two three four five six seven eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, a good one. Go. But look at this. See this huh. peak right here. This time to sell today. my three shares. That's today. <laughs> That's today. <laughs> Interesting. I'll oh, tell I'm you like, about my Apple my, stock. Uh, Something's going on here that's mail, making yeah. the Apple yeah. stock uh, surge right well, it's now. That's probably all the announcements and the buzz of their TV thing. And then when it comes out, nobody likes what it is. It's going to go down again. Yeah. 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 That's exactly likely, what happens. But it has – it's definitely doubled um, in the last day from just well, – I, I bought three shares of Apple stock in 2007 – and then it's split, so whatever's there is like my emergency fund. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much. <laughs> it's a car repair. That's, that's what it's there for. Yeah. And All right. Just, uh, um, Steve, how do you feel, like James is saying, your 401k is protected by an 8-character? Oh, well, it, it, was, it was the previous company, so that's oh. Uh, my, oh, so my financial data and uh, – Things are no longer with that company. But it also Thank depends goodness. on how a company. But I'll is, I'll I'll shame the company. It was T Rowe Price. That was oh there you go. Yeah, so that was probably a few years ago where the com- the password was too complex, and I yelled at them on the phone. They damn it! Now we're going to get a freaking strike against us. Watch because oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said a, a company's name. Good thing yeah, we don't right. make money off of this. Yeah. Well, yeah, don't get, yeah. It does depend on because even an eight character password while. In pretty much every sense of the word, it is insecure. It does depend on how a company hashes, so encrypts and salts, adding random data to the encryption to make it more complex, your password. And Facebook just had it there, like black and white. There was no no hashing, no salting, nothing. So even a 500-character password... (laughs) Yeah, and, and I'm I'm saying mm-hmm. eight characters. It might have been nine. I just remember being ah, very strict. In, <laughs> it was a few years ago. Oh, so I'm just saying full disclosure. It might have been nine. I'm just saying full disclosure. All I remember it was it was short, and it was very limited of the characters and things you could put on there. So yeah, <laughs> weird. Yep, just a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we had scheduled for this section, uh, Mike. But he's not here, unfortunately, so we're going to go ahead and skip over Mike's section and go to Rocky's uh, Evil Mod Gaming section, which is going to be a new Finally. addition <laughs> to our lineup here. So and go it take it away, Rocky. It will be a new addition last week, but yeah. it was supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so, unfortunately. But hey, you know what? Now we got it this week. So the game of the week this week is City Skylines. It does work on Windows. It does work on Mac. And it's actually quite a good game. There should be a picture of it on the stream at the moment. Uh, that'll be the intro pretty picture. And then we'll go ahead and go into the video, if you wouldn't mind, please, there, Greg. So, uh, City Skylines is uh, developed by Colossal Order. Uh, Publisher is Paradox Interactive. And we will have a link in the description to City Skylines on Steam. Uh, Steam is actually the platform that I prefer to use for a lot of my gaming. It works quite well on uh, Mac OS. And a little note about the game. The, um, you know, uh, well, little note. Here's my opinions on it. Uh, it's, it's a very enjoyable game. Uh, if you like a city builder, uh, similar to, you know, SimCity, SimCity 2000 era, even up into maybe SimCity 3000, if, uh, if you enjoyed that, uh, this one will be right up your alley. It's uh, very similar to the SimCity 2000 type of play. Um, except it's got more in-depth city building tools. Uh, I would definitely recommend this game. It is, uh, you know, what I would call a four out of five magic mice. And on top of that, now here uh, is a word from the developer. Uh, It's a modern take on a classic city simulation. 
the game introduces new gameplay elements to realize the thrill and hardships of creating and maintaining a real city whilst expanding on some well-established tropes of the city building experience. Now, wow, some fun did, they f- use, did they use commas or periods in any of that? No, 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 of course not. You know. <laughs> I was going to say, are you reading that straight off of the box? <laughs> no, that, no I, I copied it off the box. But yeah, no. Um, but no, oh, fun fact, um, Colossal Order is a Finnish developer, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Um, let's see. By the way, isn't this game notorious for melting systems? It possibly could be, and there's there's a good reason for that. It is uh, it actually is designed. Uh, one goal of the game was to successfully simulate one million residents, and they actually uh, the developers included a complex uh, system that actually determines. Uh, and this is for actually the human people routing in the game. Uh, the fastest route available for each of the simulated people, and at least to one of the richest uh, city building simulators out there. Actually, it's it's quite intense, but yeah, it'll it'll melt your CPU probably. <laughs> I could I could see that happening. So, and, and you recorded the footage that we're watching right now. Yes, you I did. Recorded this when you were still on four cores, right? Yes, I did. Uh, before I even got the eight cores, I was, oh, I yeah, recorded that. Some lag in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I did that on a four core 2.8 Xeon, <laughs> the Mac Pro. Mm. So yeah, that's, um, yeah, that was fun. But that's going to be a fun segue. True. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, Greg, go ahead and uh, pull up the next slide is, uh, the system requirements. Here's the fun right. thing. It's there. Yep, so on screen there, you'll see that the basic system requirements are 3 gigahertz Core 2 Duo OS 10.9, 4 gigs RAM, GTX 260, yada yada, you can read it on the screen. <laughs> Does Duo can't run that? I, you know, I don't know. If your Xeon is, is stuttering at that, the, that Core well, 2 Duo is not going to... Well, no, here's the thing. My Xeon stuttered in the recording. When I run it without recording, it runs perfectly fine. There's yeah, no Yeah, recording takes a lot. Of yeah. yeah, and it was all software recording at the time, too. Ah, so. yeah, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't using your GPU. To no, see. that was before you... No, actually, I take it back. That was with the GPU, because you had told me about how to do that on, um, mm-hmm. on Wirecast. So, yeah, I take it back. That might have the GPU acceleration on it. I but, do wonder, because it says right here in the uh, requirements... That uh-huh. It does not support Intel. I wonder it if does it not. would support later Intel HD graphics. Maybe. Yeah, That's a possibility. They yeah, never you update try the that. system requirements, really. Yeah. It's just like whatever was uh-huh. there at the release, they take. Now, actually, I think on, uh, might have to double check, so don't quote me. But I think it also says the same thing on the Windows side, that it doesn't support Intel. I don't think the GPU can handle it is what the issue is. Like, it's missing certain uh, components. And as everybody can see, I'm running it on probably not the most powerful Mac Pro, but it runs fine. <laughs> uh, question, is this uh, is this something you play by yourself, or is there a multiplayer community thing as well? Um, there's not so much a multiplayer community. There is, uh, like, mod. there's a modding community, and you can generate mods, and you can share cities and things like that, but uh, there isn't really, like, a co-op aspect to it. All right. So, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's like SimCity, basically. So cool. it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Uh, next up, is, is that it? Uh, I've yeah. asked you that. Oh, yeah. First. You're good. <laughs> You're totally good. Okay. So next up is Steve's Archive Adventures. I don't know if I have any <laughs> pictures. I don't. I didn't no, don't worry. I, I can okay. show stuff in front of the camera. So <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I didn't really know what to say either. That's why I did the banner the way I did. But. No, that's fine. That's all right. It's not porn. <laughs> I didn't even read that. That's the I first I saw that. Mine didn't catch up yet, so I didn't. I didn't press play on the stream again. So. Yeah, so I'm, I make those graphics so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> can see it it it's funny because I didn't review. I just drag. I just drag them from the folder over to Wirecast, and they're all in order. So I just go click on one at a time. That's the first I read it. I was like, really? <laughs> well, I, it's yes. It's not. It's not what 
what it is. It's not that <laughs> dirty. Although some some of the discs probably have seen better days and things need to be cleaned and such. But as I mentioned earlier in the stream, there was um, a very generous individual who I worked with before in clearing out and, and fixing up some things. And he donated a lot of stuff to me. So uh, what I did do is I did a, a basically a live video the other day, yesterday. Um, and so like a two hour stream. And if you guys want to watch it, you're welcome to do so. I'll, I'll put the, the link again in the, uh, in the video chat now. Um, but basically there's a lot of goodies. There's a lot of Apple, uh, hardware and software. Um, we have some goodies like Pyro, this screensaver from 1987, which is Ooh. pretty neat. So, you know, people, uh, on Macintosh garden already had a copy of this, but, uh, that's pretty neat. And, you know, titles like Sim Ant. There weren't a lot of games, um, but there there was some interesting finds. There's uh, two discs of Microsoft Basic. Uh, look at that old Microsoft logo. So that that dates it. And, of course, yeah, this is not really... Ladies. Yeah, so it's not really Apple-related. They had some PCs there. But there's some odds and ends, like TurboWare Utilities, which I have no idea what it is, and Infinity 40 Turbo, which... I'm guessing is maybe for a Motorola 40 processor. Who knows? And just a lot of like weird things of like Macintosh networking software and, uh, you know, modem disks and there's a lot of stuff to, to be covered. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all that I have to share. I have a bunch of CDs and cool stuff that I'll be archiving and uploading. Uh, there's like this weird Macworld game stuff. So yeah, that'd be fun to, Fun to share around when I get around to it. Now, are the are the Apple Grams still going to continue? Yeah, yeah. The Apple Grams, uh, I have one scanned, but uh, basically I scan them at 600 DPI, so they're these huge scans. And then I have to, you know, layer them in Photoshop so they're all the same size. I make a PDF out of it. So I'll be doing that still, but... Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, give me a second here because I'm trying to get the next... Uh, segment up, so keep, continue talking here a little bit. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> this is uh, one of the, the CDs, a gaming uh, mega pack, uh, and there's just this is from uh, the year 2000, so this was actually a promo disc, I looked it up, that came out if you uh, subscribe to Macworld, and they gave you that disc for free, and say same with this clip art volume, that really dates it. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cool. And there's some gems like this OWC Lightscribe software, yeah, it's really neat. And uh, this now up to date software, and just didn't, you know weird uh, things didn't you like. Also, find an After Dark for, but not for the Mac. Yeah, I found After Dark for Windows uh, oh. and for Mac as well. And there's like these weird digital camera software things. And what I was very happy to find is um, I got an Apple display from this guy, the Blueberry LCD display, and I was very happy to find the original CD with the software oh, cool. and the manual and stuff too. So. That made me happy, and I think that's a good place to end it. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Good, because I'm ready now. <laughs> um, here's a new section we got, we're got. we thinking about starting, and this is kind of like one of those sections of, you know, we're going to call out people for doing ridiculous things. Yeah. Uh, we're going to call it, what were they smoking? <laughs> okay. uh, so the first thing we got tonight is this it's an ebay of course we covered the ebay effect a lot okay but this guy okay and this is crazy okay i'm gonna pull it up on the screen here so you guys can see what i'm talking about this guy wants for a 17 inch apple macbook pro 2011 8 terabyte ssd quad core i7 2.5 gigahertz 16 gigabytes with eight, Office. With eight Office. terabyte eight. SSD? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. He wants $9,500. <laughs> okay. Put that link Put that link in there. Let's take a look at this. The link's on the doc. <laughs> eight in the doc terabyte list. SSD. That probably warrants Jeez. the price. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> but nah, <laughs> I'm not paying nine. Not for a 2011. Where did you? Uh, where would they find an eight terabyte SSD Maybe it's that would four fit a terabyte laptop. SSDs? Uh, it's got to be without the. Jesus. I mean, uh, let's look at the description here. Maybe he's got something. Okay, here we go. 
He says, version 2.5, blah, 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 SSD, pure solid-state drive, super fast, high-resolution optical drive. Has been removed to install a second four-terabyte solid-state yeah, yeah, drive. Yeah. Eight terabytes. Okay, here's the thing, though. Laptop was never used. Cool. It's got <laughs> two battery cycles on it. Cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, that probably just means it was plugged in all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Plus, if you rip that open okay. and put in two SSDs, who knows how careful this? Oh, is. two you... battery cycles. No, sorry, that's. Oh. Well, yeah. here's the thing. Okay, just to kind of bash those SSDs, they throw in two four terabyte SSDs. I just did a quick search on Amazon. You can buy each four terabyte SSD, Samsung Evos, no less, for less than seven hundred dollars each. So that's fourteen hundred dollars. So where's the other? Nine yeah. or eight thousand dollars coming from he wants. Oh, that's not even computer. the on sale ones. That's just the yeah. higher, yeah. It's more expensive. Well, so you guys are missing the big thing here. It includes Microsoft Office. That's yeah. right. <laughs> there we go. That's <laughs> that. <is awesome. laughs> oh, there yeah. we go. But it has Mojave on it. This is an unsupported oh. Mac, so apparently <laughs> he's putting DOS Dude's patcher to get it to work on here. I mean, he's got Mojave on it. So, I mean, yeah. he's basically just copied and Apple's if, website and yeah. put it on here. If Mojave on it, that means it doesn't even have GPU acceleration. And oh, you don't there need that. You go. But if you look at the pictures he has on here, that's not a 2011. <laughs> okay? That actually is the touch bar, it looks like. So what yeah. I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase this. And then when it doesn't show up as, as one of those MacBooks, I'm going to go to eBay and complain and say, the picture yeah. on the listing, that's the seller's responsibility. You know, that's yeah. what I expected to get. This is wrong. I want my money back. <laughs> well, I, I think, and, and we've covered this before in the past, but I think this is what we call the Steve Jobs effect, okay? <laughs> Steve Jobs yeah, must go. have actually physically, his DNA must be on that computer somehow. Yeah, he, he must spit on it. it. Yeah. <laughs> It was his personal computer he gave it that he a good used like right before he passed away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, and by the, the way, this is not uh, this is not the eBay effect that we covered before. In this section, we're no. only going to call out the worst of the worst. Uh, yes, mm. whether it's yeah, eBay these, these are the Facebook. crazy eBayers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, this is not just eBay. This section is going to be <laughs> of if we find something that's totally ridiculous. Okay, mm -hmm. it could be on low end Mac. It could be on anywhere's on yeah. the internet we find. Okay, yeah. so videos we, on so Craigslist. If you if you are watching this stream and you plan to sell an iPod Nano for eight hundred dollars, we're gonna get you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're so gonna, gonna, gonna be embarrassed. For everybody to see, <laughs> and you're gonna be embarrassed. So everybody, remember this guy right here, and it says seller refurbished. So he actually refurbished oh, a never computer that's, only, that's never been used. <laughs> exactly. So why would you have to refurbish a computer that's never I, been used? I bet you, in order for that two cycle battery count. He just bought one of those cheapo batteries off eBay and installed it inside. He had to get go. a low cycle count because it's an eight year old battery. I mean, come on, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> golly! But at least he has thirty day. He has thirty day returns. Oh well, let's take advantage <laughs> of that. <laughs> hey, can I borrow ninety five hundred dollars? <laughs> I'll pay you back in twenty four months. <laughs> exactly. I mean, he's got some pictures on here. I mean the. He's actually got a screen of the about about this computer or about this Mac. And it's, yeah, but he it's, doesn't show you the serial number. No. Uh, and there you go. Yeah, he's got he purposely the, oh, places it so you don't see the serial number. Look at that Intel HD graphics, three thousand five hundred twelve megabytes. It doesn't even have. But isn't this? Yeah, yeah, but is this, he's running High Sierra, but they say they're running Mojave. Yeah, he's nah, got Mojave down below, too. but it says yeah. See the, the way that screenshot is positioned, right below the Intel graphics, it would say the the AMD one. So now the question is huh. to answer our, our own question: What were they smoking? What there's the, are there's we talking the... crack? Are we talking weed? <laughs> he, he, no. You know that new Apple smell when you open the Apple product? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he, he got too much of that, and it's just in his brain. Oh, maybe right you were smoking the old battery. That would make sense. Well, well, it, does, you know. it does have the AMD Radon HD six seven seven M. He's got another screenshot of that. Oh, I'll buy two then. There you go. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. isn't this the the one that the graphics chip fails on it? Yeah, yes, it course. is. So it's going to need a fifty dollars Mux hat as well, <laughs> unless it's already got it. So you're looking at a ten thousand dollars computer probably by the time you get done with it. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll get my and iMac Pro instead. A eight yeah. year old computer that you're going to buy for ten thousand dollars. No. Yeah. No. This That's, is our what were they smoking post of the week. <laughs> yep. And I, I bet you that there's some dings and scratches. It's not as immaculate as he's claiming, I'm sure. Otherwise well, he would have he's so got many the, pictures. Here's yeah, he's only got two one picture of the outside case and stuff. And it's blurry. And it's yeah, it is blurry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the top. And I don't see anything, but it's it's real blurry. And then yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just you know, this a picture, quick phone shot, you know. This picture doesn't really show much either. I mean, it does have the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the... Uh, the matte display? The matte display. That's what yeah. I was trying to think of, yeah. So it does have the matte display, yeah, but... that's maybe a few extra, maybe a $100 or something. I mean, even yeah. back then, the I mean, BTO even option when it was, was brand new... Okay, but we still have... The anti-glare was not that much. But we still haven't figured out where that other $8,000 is coming from. <laughs> that, that's from the new Apple smell. Hey, yeah. isn't that your old laptop there, Greg, that you sold? <laughs> could be. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Hey, I sold mine for $240 for parts only, so... And I got what I wanted for it. So, hey, <laughs> that's the eBay effect, you know. That, that's yeah, the way it works. So, guys, that's our – That's our. what do you think about this new segment? Should we keep this up and keep shaming people that do <laughs> stupid things like this? Cause Just watch. They're going to want us to do a whole, like, half of the episode on doing this stuff. <laughs> he has – I mean, if you look at his eBay store, he has a lot of different items here. And – you know, he has a, a 2009 MacBook for 350. He has a Touch Bar assembly for 350. I mean, some of his stuff isn't too bad, I guess. Yeah, I'm not. But a that price particular on one this. was not. No, no. So that's what I'm saying. He he had a bad bad trip somewhere, and well, <laughs> he's also selling a 2014 model for fifteen hundred dollars. What? A 2014, so one three years. So newer. 2014, 2.5 gigahertz i7, 16 gigs, 512 SSD with Microsoft Office again in the title. So somebody <laughs> says Scam- Scammy Sammy is selling this MacBook. And it has Mojave on it, Intel Iris uh, graphics. Yeah, $1,500. But- and uh, Blazing Fast never used, comes with Office. And yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. Um, 2011. Yeah. But hey, never that used. newer one was not licked and humped by Steve Jobs. No, that's not <laughs> comes in. He uses the same Mojave photos too. This guy's ridiculous. That's oh, because he doesn't goodness. have any. Steve is getting yeah. a little worked up there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Steve's getting upset. <laughs> that's the reason why I brought that particular one up for this segment because I think that was a perfect one to bring up for this particular segment to start it off because yeah, that I've one is just that listing a few times back when I was looking for one. Yeah. But so yeah, there's, I, I there's a lot saw of that and I was there. like, this has got to go in the, 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 the broadcast. It's got yeah. to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I think since we started Mac Yak, our negativity has kind of dialed down. So to keep our two selves, we have to bring a little bit of that back, you know, in, in and yeah. Yeah. Well, we Go haven't had anything roots. new that Apple has done lately to be negative about. Oh, there's yeah. plenty. Just there's plenty. The stream, but... the stream after the 25th. Now that's going to be. That's going to be. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Because remember, the next stream for us, let's see, today is the 21st. So we are streaming on the 28th. So we're going to be yeah. three days after. So we got plenty of time to analyze that. Because you know that stream. on the 25th, they're going to release iOS and macOS and tvOS and all that stuff, too. So, Yeah. Yeah, this, this, if you ever want to laugh, just go on eBay, type in the word Macintosh, and just sort by the highest price. and just. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but we're going to – we're basically – and also, you guys out there that are watching, if you guys find something that's ridiculous or outrageous, send it to us in Discord or send us – put a, a – uh, comment on the video here um, and we'll go look it up and we'll put it in a, if we think it's that outrageous too, <laughs> we'll put it in here. Oh yeah. Yeah. And everybody watching this right now, y'all should be on discord already. Yep. Here, I'll pop the link in there. In fact, I'm going to go Jeez. ahead and click on our next one right there. So join us on discord and we have the link right there. <laughs> That's the permalink. 
So Which you guys, did you post in there on the link? I have to no, see. it's up. It's on the graphic. Yeah, that's what I was gonna look at. It's the Discord.gga64fu6d. Watch your no, language, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways you guys join us over there on discord after the stream and uh we'll hang out for a little bit yeah just in case you haven't had enough of us yeah because we're <laughs> yeah. actually we just reached our two hour mark so i think we're we're good to go on this one i think we yeah. stretched out all our topics enough tonight by the way if you guys are confused with all the discord links that all look different it's because whoever makes generates the link makes the link differently if someone yeah. actually noticed that, I would give them a. But a they gold still star. work. It's they're still yeah, they all go in the same place. Good. Yeah, they're all good. So you guys can, and uh, we'll put a link in here to to join it. Once you join it, you don't need to click the link anymore. If you bring up Discord and bring up the Mac Yak little uh, symbol, right you'll be right there. Yeah, yep. and uh, we we hang out there during the week. Uh, typically after the show, we go to Discord. It has a text channel, several, and a voice channel. We hang out on voice. So just a little yeah. after party. Yep. You know. yeah, and we'll we have James party. talking yeah. about his boneyard, and we have Nick <laughs> talking about his exerv, and everybody. Just, and Christian know. from uh, uh, Macintosh Garden hangs out on there as well. Oh, yep. 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 Hey, you might you might even see me try and uh, fry an ATI seven thousand card from an X serve and shove it into a an old Mac. So there you Ooh. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Let's see well, if the that's, voltage is the same. This is going to be the end of the video here, so we'll go ahead and say bye to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make yeah. sure you like, you subscribe, and you hit that little bell icon so you know when we're going live again because it will let you know when I hit that when I start the stream it will actually send you supposed to send you a notification I don't know if it does or not but it's supposed oh, to it's, yeah and uh, after uh, after uh, we end the stream go back and uh, watch the first five minutes and I want some feedback on that loading bar you have to yeah, watch all five minutes of the loading bar <laughs> yes because <laughs> yeah. lots of goodies in there yeah. there's lots of little hey, that was a good one it, it, yes it's a very great video my wife so, was not happy with my modifications <laughs> <laughs> so come and join us on discord check out the description for info and links after this is processing i will have all the descriptions up there and everything we talked about tonight and all the links and spread the word tell guys to come in and watch us i mean we need we need viewers we need you guys to keep us going without you guys watching we're just basically here talking to each other so <laughs> Uh, <laughs> exactly but we'd rather have a bunch of you guys in here so keep you guys entertained so with that we're gonna say adios and we'll see you guys next thursday see you next week. Week. all right see ya